Okay, so now I'm joined by Marn. How's it going, man? Good, good, good. Good to hear it, good to hear it. Uh, is this your first time in Australia? Yes, it is. And uh, it's expensive. <laughs> what do you think of the country so far, then, apart from like the inflated prices? Expensive. And very expensive. That's all I can think of it. It's like, expensive. Are you feeling the jet lag particularly? Obviously, it's quite a, a long distance like travel from like the States, so... I came from Vietnam, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, and it was, it was still like nine hours, but I went from the States to Vietnam for one day, and then I went to Australia. And I don't, I don't think I, ha I have this thing called jet lag. Like, I'm never, like, I can sleep whenever I want. I can wake up whenever I want. Yeah. Jet lag doesn't exist to me. Okay. Yeah, I think you'd be pretty used to it. I mean, obviously, like, for us from the UK, it's like 22 hours. We're a bit dead on our feet. But, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. If you had to describe season two of Buki in just three words, what would they be? Cheap as F. <laughs> I think that's a pretty accurate description. Pretty accurate description. Do you enjoy, who do you enjoy playing more? Season one, Mika, or season two of Buki? I, I wish they didn't take out the wall, the invisible wall with Mika, or I would not even be playing a Buki right now. I think Mika is like the most fun with the wall because you had so many like options and so many like different mix-ups you could do. And when they took that away, I was like, now Mika's boring. I had to play a Buki. I can't play boring characters. It just wasn't the same character anymore as far as you were concerned. You needed the wall in order to like have that enjoyment factor from playing on Mika. Yeah, so I, I still, wish that I could play Mika, but... So if we ever did like a, uh, a version where you could pick like old versions of the characters in Season 1, you would definitely go back and enjoy some of that nostalgia of like Season 1 Mika and ruin people's days? A hundred percent! I would not play a Buki anymore. I would drop a Buki right away. Send it right down the river? Yeah. Okay, okay. Do you think Street Fighter V Ibuki is more intimidating than Street Fighter IV Ibuki? Of course, like, who, who was a good Ibuki in Street Fighter IV? Yeah, you can't even list it. Shut up. <laughs> I remember F Word played a, a bit of a bookie back in the day, and there was like Damascus in the UK. I'm not sure in terms of international competition, but I remember obviously like uh, Ultra came out, and then um, a Vortex wasn't quite as good anymore. But you you reckon Street Fighter Five is the most intimidating version of a bookie ever, perhaps? Like even more than like, she wasn't like First Strike. She wasn't that good in Third Strike. Was she? She, no. she was. She was good, but she wasn't like broken like other, every other character. So yeah. This, this is the pinnacle of a bookie as far as Street Fighter history is concerned. Yeah, 100%. Cool, cool. Wait. Are you trying to think if it's like any one of the verses here? No, no, no. no, no. That, that one Ibuki. Wasn't it Second Impact? Wasn't Second Impact Ibuki really, second really good? One. Yeah, like, was it? Sean was really good in Second Impact, and I think Ibuki was as well. No, Ibuki was broken. I think Ibuki was. Uh, so it'll be on par with Second Impact. Yeah, I'm sure like, the people in the uh, YouTube will know, but. Um, describe how it feels when you land Ibuki's left-right mix-up after air target combo when you're competing in a tournament. It's like, right after I watch <laughs> man. <laughs> you know, you know that feeling, you're just like, oh. sweet release. Are you saying that's sweet release? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, wow. It, it, it definitely is. I have to bleep that one out, but people can might infer what he might have said there. Okay, okay. <laughs> what does it take to, be to become an Ibuki player of your calibre in Street Fighter Five? Go to training mode, practice one left-right mix-up mid-screen, practice one left-right mix-up corner, and you're good to go. Top 16, baby. It really is that simple there. Pro tips from a pro player. Take that one on board. Um, a lot of people are saying that the US is the currently the best country in Street Fighter V. How the hell did that happen? Punk, do, punk, smug, do. Japanese can't handle punk. I would think if, if you took away punk, America wouldn't be number one. But with punk on our side, that's all we need, baby. How long do you think it's going to last? Until Marvel. And then the US all migrates back to their kind of like national game. I, I actually think Street Fighter V is a, an American game. Like it's a it's a offense, there's no defense, it's like complete offense. That's, that's what America likes. We like offense. There's only like one person in America that likes defense, and it's Justin. He wants to rush that stuff down, basically. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. always. Always rush down. And the Japanese know it. Everyone knows it. You can't have defense in this game. You just gotta so go. This is not Justin's game, is what you're saying? It's definitely not Justin's game. It's Justin's game coming out on the 19th of September. Absolutely. I just... Man, when you see Justin struggling in a game, you you know it's not. 
it's not his game. Okay, I think that's a fair assessment. Uh, which player and character combination do you most fear in this game? He's gonna get mad at me if I don't say it. So, Punk Karen, man. That guy's. It's really just that simple, Punk Karen. Uh, yeah, I mean, he is pretty much the one to beat at the moment. I mean, what? I mean, from your observation, what makes Punk such a good player in this game? He can see everything. It's kind of crazy because I think he can actually see like when you like want to shimmy him or like when you want to like throw him. Like, and his offense is so it's it's simple but it's advanced at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, he's kind of got that Sharingan thing going on, isn't it? He can see. He knows. Yeah, I, I don't know how he does it, but he's 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 the absolute number one right now. So, despite lacking a cross up, command grab, and invincible reversal. Balrog is getting a health nerf. Can I get you to sign my petition asking my superiors to reconsider the situation? Are you serious? 100%. Do you, do you, do you like... Hey, look, look, I'll list them again. No cross-up, no command grab, and no invincible reversal. He lacks many of the tools like a lot of these like top characters get in the game. And yet they're lopping 25 health off of his like uh, character. That's kind of like uh, Sentinel in Marvel 3, like all over again. That big health nerf. Right. I mean, but but he has X Factor. Like, come on, man. He has a, he has a useful V trigger. I, I swear to you, you go back and watch last week weekend's CPT event where Smug won. At least eight rounds, he was like down like five percent to like seven percent, and he he hit a guy once, and they were all dead. He had to make some very hard, solid reads, risky kind of like you know buttons throwing out there that could have been whiff punished. This is why you don't do balance and you do interviews instead. <laughs> what are your overall thoughts on the season 2.1 chases? Bora, come on, man. Come on, are you, are you really going to ask me that after I said Bora? Bora, Bara aside. Uh, I don't know why they didn't buff a lot of characters. I don't know what happened to like Chun-Li. Um, Ryu, I don't think Ryu's like, he's still not there. But a lot of the things, it helps, but I wish they just would have taken out Crush Counter. I okay, yeah, we had spoke to Infiltration yesterday. He said if he could make one difference of the game, it would be to remove the Crush Counter system. I mean, why do you think that needs removing? One, you either need to remove the Crush Counter system, or two, you need to re remove the priority system. Okay. Right? Because they all, they go like they're like one plus one, right? And once that happens, it's like. Come on, man! Like, you can just see the like the heartbreak when someone gets crush countered, cause, cause you know, like, once that happens, you're just like, oh my god, that's half my life. It's gone. What's like, the biggest like um, heartbreak you've like ever seen a player receive from a crush counter? Like, in in memory of like, all the matches you've seen in Street Fighter Five, what's the biggest heartbreak moment? Can you recall? South by Southwest, Justin Wong versus Smug. Justin did a super. Smug had. I didn't even see the pixel on the screen anymore. I thought he was dead. He definitely stayed alive. He got one of this, and that's it. That was a game ender right there. He just said. That was all she wrote. That is. Okay. Crush counter. <laughs> is it like kind of like crush dream counter as far as you're concerned? It just, it crushes your soul. But it makes the game more exciting to watch. I love, I love seeing top players get crush countered. They thought they could throw a button. No. Yeah, okay, so what happens is I love watching this game. I don't like playing this game. But if you removed Crush Counter, I would like playing this game, but I would not like watching this game. You know what I mean? Like, so we need to kind of like come, come up with some sort of system that doesn't like, you know, it makes it as hype to watch as hype it is to play. That's that's where that's the eternal question. But you know, we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Um, from what you've seen so far, what do you think of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? That's my game. That looks exactly like TVC, man. That's there's, there, isn't there like burst and stuff? Like you can like get out of combos and stuff? Yep, so you can use two bars to break out of a combo while you're being comboed. Yeah. Can, you, can, can you like bait it and block it and then punish? Yes, yeah, I think that will be part of the game. Like, so you, game. I'm, I'm already, I'm a you, you, don't, you don't break out of the combo, you just uh, bring in your other character and you start controlling the other character. So then you can either try and stop your uh, main character from getting like uh, comboed. Or if like the other opponent baits it, then they can hit the other character as well. I mean, there probably even be a way to like set up like a happy birthday. They didn't even set up a happy birthday from the start. There's all kinds of like crazy stuff that might potentially happen. I can't wait 
to September 19th and just seeing what all you kind of like lab wait, monsters. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. How do you know all this already? I have uh, the press build that we showed yeah. in the office. Yeah. Well, can I get a press build? <laughs> you know, press, I haven't seen you write for like IGN. I will definitely write for Martin.com. I, I swear to God. Just give me a give me I'll a press I'll release. Check out that uh, URL and see what I get. Check out that URL and I'll see what I get. Okay. Okay. I'm still waiting for zero though. I need zero in my, my life. Is that is that the character you most want? You want to see like lightning loops and all that kind of stuff come back? I don't want lightning loops. You you guys can make zero loads here and I will still play him. I don't want lightning loops. I don't want all this broken stuff he has in Marvel 3. But I just want him in the game. I want to play him. And you still want to make the opponent and taste the rainbow while you're playing Zero? Uh, I, I need them to get rid of that super. I want his TBC level 3 super back. That was awesome. I'm not sure I remember that one. What does that one look like? Where he like goes into like a rocky field and he just like slices them and stuff. He just like one slice and it just like... Oh, okay. Yeah. Just like gives him the Omni Slash basically. Okay. Um... So apart from Zero, any other characters you want to see return in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite? I mean, like, if you could have like any character from like Marvel history, any character from Capcom history, ta uh, teamed up with um, Zero, who are you think? Who's in your head right now? Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer. Okay. Okay. So you literally you would have a Marvel vs. Capcom team. You want one from one side of the pond and one from the other side. Without Silver Surfer, it would be Zero and Mega Man. Hundred percent. In your opinion. What, what do you foresee like Silver Surfer was like uh, level 3? What would that be? I just want him to start beating people with his board like bah, bah. You know, be a bit like Deadpool where he like pulls the left button and said he just like surfboard, smack to the face, KO. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I need. That's all I need. Okay, we'll give it, we're giving the uh, developers like creative ideas to see if they, you know, potentially, if we see Silver Surfer in the game. They don't care what I think. <laughs> Let's be real. What's the next CBT event you'll be attending? Uh, Vietnam next weekend. I will be traveling to a lot of events, many weeks of non-being off, always traveling. Your sponsor's paying for all these flights and hotels. Remember, you're living the high life, just traveling around the world, playing Street Fighter Five and Ultimate Marvel Free. I wouldn't call it the high life. Like, I thought I wanted to do this, but woo! It's a struggle, man. There's a lot of- Sleep when you're dead, man. You don't need to like, worry about that. There's a lot of CPT events. There's a lot. And maybe you guys should tone it down a little bit next year, because I am struggling. That's all right. You got knocked out of ESL, so you don't have to worry about that one anymore. You can just like focus on the CPT events. You know, I see what you did there. That was very smart. Well played. You meant E-League? E-League. I did beat E-League. <laughs> we can change that one. You don't even know your stuff, dude. That's crazy. There's too many events. It's like exactly what I was saying. There are far too many events for me to be able to keep up. But between the CPT, E-League, ESL, Gfinity, King of the Hill, like literally every single day of the week there's like some sort of like Street Fighter stuff going on. Can you keep up? Can you keep up with all this stuff? I think I'll die by the end of this year. I promise you. I will I will be so stressed out. Like these points, they're they're like they're like gold, you know, you got you gotta just try to pick them up. But the struggle, dude, it hurts. Are we gonna see you at the Capcom Cup this year? Absolutely. What? What? What's that? Did you, you you asked me that? Are you? Wow. How many points have you got at the moment? Is it like 60 or something? Or? Yeah. Just 60. That's all right. Like you, like you said, you're Vietnam like next weekend. Is that a CPT event? Yeah. Okay. So you're going to come back with the full 240 for getting fourth place? Fourth, first place? There's like 20 Japanese players coming. That's crazy. So I'm just hoping that the weekend after for Combo Breaker, I'll do well. Vietnam is kind of like a, yeah, I'll be there, I'll play, but it's more of like a relaxing place since I'm there all the time. But uh, Damon, if you're watching this, I want my NA points, bro. <laughs> Damon Anderson, you know, shout out to Mr. Anderson right there. Okay, okay. Well, thank you very much for talking to me, man, and good luck in the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Take it easy.